Hello and welcome back to LP's LP's Let's Play Earthbound Beginnings. Last time, we finally left Magicant after like three or four episodes in there. We also got the, uh, the, the One Ring, it's equipped right now. We also got a sword and an onyx hook and a side stone. We got a lot of things. Uh, and then we also got access to this town, which is Marysville. And we're actually in the northwest portion of it. Uh, last time we were, we were assaulted by a trucker or something. I don't know. We, we died. We had an asthma attack. It was terrible. Uh, and I wanted to come back and fully explore Marysville. And we're starting here. So hello. How can we get the big rocks off the railroad tracks? I'll bet the mayor leaves them there till election time. <laughs> really, quite a political strategy, I'm sure. Get to school. You're a schoolboy, aren't you? Uh, no. I don't I do not do the, the education system. I, I get my learning from the streets. Welcome to Marysville. Podunk West, Union Station. Oh, I can go back to Podunk this way. Okay, I'm going to do that, I think. I heard about some weird thing over in Podunk. Uh, yes. <laughs> heard a zombie was kidnapped. Animals roamed the city streets. All kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> the great zombie kidnapping. Okay, so Podunk West. I mean, it makes sense, according to the map, but... How was I not able to come this way from Podunk? A mad car draws near in a mad truck. That's the truck that killed me! What is going on here? Why are these vehicles assaulting me? <laughs> oh, who's behind the wheel? Okay, uh, Ninten with a, uh, with a boomerang was able to dismantle that vehicle. Ninten is insanely strong. It's obscene. One hit KOing two, uh, two vehicles. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, that aside, I think these bridges were actually blocked by police officers. Uh, what does this sign say? Podunk West, Marysville East. I think so. And yep, hey, there's my old friend. What's up, Wally? Have you missed me? I've gotten a little bit stronger since our last encounter. You see, I have a boomerang now. Bounce it off of the forehead. <laughs> and recovered all his senses. Okay, so we... Are we in Podunk now? We are. We're... Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Yep, because that was the first way I went when I was, like, going northeast of Podunk. Okay, well, so what I'm going to do then, since I've actually been recording episodes, I record my episodes in threes, and this is the third of three, so this is the end of a recording session this episode. I'm actually going to go save at home real quick. Where am I? I'm lost. I haven't been to Podunk in six years. Uh, I'm going to go save and maybe deposit some items with my sister, and then I'm going to go back to Marysville. Mother, can I leave? Please. My God. <laughs> I've been here for like two or three minutes. Good God almighty. All right. So yeah, I'm not quite yet back in Marysville, but I figured I could pick it up here since father told me I was close to a level up and maybe you guys would want to see that happen. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm picking it up now though. And also cool to see is just how far we've come. I remember the first time that I set foot outside of this house whatever, six or seven episodes ago, and I was I was killed by hippies and snakes and birds, oh my. But now we just one hit them every time by like a significant margin. We're doing almost 80 damage each time. It's incredible. Um, you're probably also wondering what items I deposited with Minnie. I left her with the big bag because I'm, I, don't know, I haven't been using it. And I also left her with the sword because apparently I'm not, I'm not qualified to, uh, to, to use it, whatever that means. Uh, so the big bag, like I said, I'm, I'm deliberately choosing to not use it. I'm deliberately not using it. I don't need it. I don't know. I've just, whatever, and the sword can't use it. So two item spaces open. Oof, I'm burping. Good God. Too much coffee. Uh, or not enough. I'm going to go with that one. Uh, anyways, I have two item spots open, so now I can hopefully acquire more items as they come across. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go back to the, the school in Marysville because there were 
There was a slingshot and a wooden bat, I think, in one of the rooms. I don't remember which room it was in, but, but there was that. So I think I will pick one of those up and leave one open item spot, and then that way I can I can have stuff to give the party member I'm assuming I'm going to get soon. <laughs> last, uh, last episode, when I was in and around the school at Marysville, people were mentioning a character named Dewey. And to you watching, who, who, who've probably played Earthbound Beginnings, Dewey probably means nothing to you. Uh, I am told that, that Dewey is supposed to be... Oh, shoot. I already forgot the name. Lloyd. That's it. I, I wanted to say Lewis. Lewis is not correct. Dewey's supposed to be Lloyd. Uh, so so I, I'm led to believe that we'll be getting his help soon. I, I don't know for sure, but we'll see. We'll see as, as soon as we get back there. Good God, we're getting assaulted by crows. Shouldn't you have learned your lesson? Nope, they, they just, they want the money. You see, if they kill us, they get half our cash. And how else are they going to afford those fancy kicks they're all wearing? I've never seen, I've never seen crows so well-dressed. But there's the next level, like I thought, like I thought we were going to get. So we got extra fight, speed by three, that's great. Wisdom as well. We're strong, dude. We're, we're way strong. Nothing for PP though. The PP was left unattended to. And man, Wally, you, sir, should have learned better. A wizard should know better. But then again, Wally's not a wizard, is he? He does have a mighty sweet staff, but it's actually just more of a pitchfork. And these saucers, I, I battled one of these earlier and it did a, uh, a PK blocker or something. So that's something to, to keep in mind, that there are enemies that can prevent you from using your Psy attacks. I might have already known that. I might have not. I don't know. It seems like new information to me at the time, right now. So hey, we learned new Psy power as well. Which I've learned a few and I... Where are they? Maybe they only show up in battle. Um, I'm gonna have to remember to check that. I'll check it right now. Alright, let's... So healing, you know, size shield. So that's that's something. Whoa, this one's got a lot. Uh, offense up, defense up, quick up. Which goes all affect stats of mine. Defense down obviously is going to affect the enemy's stats. Fourth D slip. Well, I don't understand that in hypnosis. Okay, hypnosis obviously makes sense. I'm, I'm tempted to try this. What is that? Used a lot of PP. Yikes. What happened there? We ran. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we, we transferred ourselves through the fourth dimension and, and left the company of the little saucer, it would seem. Or something of the, uh, aligned with that. I don't really have no idea. Um, if there is one complaint I have with this game is that it doesn't really explain anything. So I can see why it would be more difficult. So where was... Where was Presence? That was the nurse room. Oh wait, hey, this is the janitor. I haven't talked to you. Of course the door to the roof is locked. We can't have students sneaking out to play games. When they should be studying, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's not that big of a problem. My wife is a bigger problem. <laughs> she doesn't get out of bed until the afternoon each day. Well, I mean, that's normal for a lot of people. She won't even pack me a brown bag lunch. Pack it yourself, guy. Come on. Isn't that just horrible? So I don't agree with him, but I'm going to sympathize with him. <laughs> yeah, dude, that sucks. Then, when she does get up, she goes shopping. Luckily, I hid the credit cards from that woman. <laughs> Sounds like a great marriage you got there, dude. She's a terrible wife. Yeah. Except... How dare you talk about my wife? Like that, scram! Dude, I'm just agreeing with you. Okay, I bet you there's something to gain out of this, though. What if I agree and then disagree at the end there so that he doesn't tell me to scram? Before I get to that, though, I'm going to comment on this. I, <laughs> I don't think you've got a terrible wife, dude. I think you've got a terrible relationship. Uh, clearly, you two are not aligned in what you're expecting to get out of it. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I disagree that she is terrible. 
I just think that you guys are not meant for each other. When she was young, she was very pretty. Come to think of it, she's not that bad after all. <laughs> Would you like some tea? Sure. You're a pretty good kid. You say you need to go up to the roof? Follow me. Oh! Delightful. Yes, I, I, I need to go up to the roof to, uh... Well, to do drugs, because I'm because I'm a kid, and that's that's what we do on the on the roof. Is that okay? Apparently, it's still okay. He's still taking us. <laughs> All because we said my wife was the first Miss Marysville in history. Okay, <laughs> thanks for that. Okay, I've unlocked the roof. While you're up there, make sure to take in the view. It is unforgettable. Interesting. I mean, it's only like a two-story building. Can it be that crazy? We got some mountains and a gyrating trash can. There's a raccoon in it. Talk to it. Who are you? I won't come out. If I do, everyone will pick on me. What? You want to be my friend? Don't tell anyone, but I stole some explosives. <laughs> yes. What kind of response is that? Yes, you did. I'm coming out now. Oh, it's Dewey. Uh, A.K.A. Lewis. Uh, Lemmy. Lloyd! Lloyd, Lloyd, Lloyd. Hi, I am Dewey, slash Lloyd. I wanted to fly the bottle rockets that the sweet little factory was producing. Okay. So come with me and we can go get them. Maybe. What the heck? I uh, wanted to fly the... Maybe we have to get him bottle rockets from the sweet little factory. Blue Mountains. Can we look over here? No. Hey, look. There's the town down there. <laughs> We're so high up. This school is massive. All right, so really all you can see is that there's... Mount Doom in the distance, and we need to find the sweet little factory for Dewey. Okay. How... How do we do that? Uh, signs. Look for signs! There's gotta be a sign. It's the southern tip of the friggin' town. No signs. Okay. I don't want to get too far off because I got killed by a vehicle last time. Let me look here. So what are, I was hoping, I was hoping that I could see locations beyond whatever the eight that are up there. So they're, they're the big towns, right? Those are the, uh, what, burnt orange shapes. But then there's also little squares, little black squares. I wonder if those don't represent locations, right? Because the, the, the one to the west of my home like the, the southwest, I guess. I think it's Canary Village, and the one to the northwest is the zoo. Right? Like that. Those are locations. So there's two south of Marysville, and when I was leaving the cavern uh, that I left Magicant through, there was a building down here. I, I don't know that this is of any importance, but if I'm looking for a factory, I'm looking for a place, I might as well check the buildings that I have seen. And I know it's not in the city because I checked every building. So hopefully this is it, and if it's not it, hopefully it's like one 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 step closer to the factory, maybe. Like, I don't know. This is the factory's owner house or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. We will Whoa! Look at that. Barbot. There's a skinny little guy. He's gonna keel over. He's dodging my attack, probably because he's like an inch and a half wide. Thankfully, his, uh, his fists are also an inch and a half wide, and as such, we do not suffer much damage. Oh! Thank God for the Franklin badge. <laughs> that, uh... I, it reflects PK attacks, and I honestly don't know what I would have done without it. Because it helped us defeat Starman Jr. And that thing. Uh, okay, building. What are you? Sweet, sweet little factory. Hey, perfect. No, wait. Sweets. Little factory. Is this the same thing? 
Is that the, is that the same thing? I don't know. Over here. Where is sweets? I'm. This is not much of a little factory. And how we are? We're like thirty feet off the ground already. What is going on? Uh, exit. No thanks. I'm not looking to exit. It's a rat! <laughs> it's got the bubonic plague. Don't let it touch you. Hit it with the boomerang. Thank you. Very good. Uh, so when we come back to the to the overworld or whatever, back to the, the dungeon, we've got this ladder. There's also a door right there. And then whatever the heck else is west, another ladder up top. Man, it just keeps going. Another door. Uh, another door. Several doors. All right, we're just gonna go left to right and see see what we can get. Well, we got a present, and we can check this way off of our off of our list because it's a dead end. So that's good. I, I was almost afraid that it's gonna you know wind and turn, and there's gonna be all sorts of potential routes we could take, and just be way more confusing than I than I'd like it to be. But it looks like it's gonna be pretty fine. There was rope in the present. We got rope. Excellent. Excellent. We're gonna, gonna tie up Barbot here and, and drag him behind us like Smeagol for Sam and Frodo, and he's gonna show us the way to uh, to the molten hot fire of which the bottle rockets are crafted. Rockets. Okay, well, I'd like you to die. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna say, you took a whole extra turn there, Barbot. Didn't much appreciate that. And oh, that says exit up there, though. I don't want to go exiting anything. But does it just say that? You know, like how much can we, how much can we trust that? Because there's been there's been multiple exit doors. So I'm just gonna enter it anyways. Yeah. No. Okay. See, there's another present. Magic herb. Eh, not super exciting, but hey, I'll take it. It's free. Nothing at all in here. Okay, I'll well, see you later. Well, this is fine. This is really, it's not too bad. Um, I really tend to get myself like, psyched up, worried for nothing. <laughs> not just here, right? But just in general, I think. I consider myself a, a pretty laid back person and I don't know, maybe my, my commentary reflects that, but I do, I do tend to overthink things. So let's go up. Oh, there's a lot more up here. Maybe not a lot, but there's some amount more. Another present. There was also like a red button or something below me. Fight capsule. What is that? I'm gonna get rid of this magic herb. I'm just gonna eat it. Perfect, look at that. This has been the greatest deal in the history of deals. All right, fight capsule. What do you do? Take this capsule to raise your fight. Oh, it makes you stronger. Eat it or use it. Use it. Nintend drink. What are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to pop that with a, with a glass of water or something. Nintend's just like cracking it open and drinking the medicinal contents. Gross, but my energy increased by five. So that's cool. What is energy? What does that directly influence? Uh, I was gonna say I'll see if I do more damage, but I only did 53. Which, yeah, see, 65. I know that the last time I attacked one of those barbets, I did something in the 60s, so I don't know. Let me double check my status here. Fight. Why is fight different than offense? Fighting is fighting. Offense is just, just how offensive Ninten is. <laughs> how many crude words he knows. Fascinating. Well, well, keep checking. There's lots of presents here. This is a this is a great a great factory. Magic herb. Don't need it, but got it. And you see these things? Yeah, these little like lights. There's another way up. I feel like up is probably the way we the game wants us to go. But I don't know. That's probably fine because. Earthbound Beginnings is not showing itself to be the kind of game to where, you know, you get to the destination and then it 
it warps you back somewhere. So like if that is the ultimate goal, if we go there and we have to fight like a boss or something, we can still work our way back and check out the things that we missed. So I'll press on, I'll press on, but not before checking this door I'm in front of. But of course, more presents. It's in here. Antidote, don't, don't need it, it's fine. I think that, that cures sicknesses, right? It would make sense that it does, and I've only been sick one time. I got it from that disgusting school in Marysville. That place hasn't been cleaned in weeks. I should have a word with the janitor. Oh wait, I actually have. I should have mentioned that to the janitor. This is not the top. Wow, there is... There is a lot to this place, man. I, I, I'm gonna start getting confused. There's another trash can. Oh! There was Bottle Rocket, can't carry anything else. I think that's what, that's what good old Lloyd slash Dewey wants. Let's keep the rope. I don't remember what that's good for, but I know what the magic herb's for and I don't need it. Cool, got a rocket. What's in here? Two presents, wow, very nice. Magic herb, no. Plastic bat, no. There's a lot of plastic bats around. We got a wooden bat still. I don't, I don't need it. Ooh, and another present. Presents for Nintendo. These are Nintendo's presents, you see. They were left out specifically by these rats. They're trying to lure Nintendo into a false sense of security so that they might feast upon him when he isn't looking. But their plans have been thwarted. Life up cream. Hmm. What is that? Is that like... Does that like increase our life? Let's get rid of the rope. Get rid of it. I mean, that would make sense, right? Like we got the, the fight capsule. Oh, I was stuck. <laughs> you can only move diagonal. Okay. Look at this. Uh, life up cream used to heal wounds. Uh, okay, so it's not, it's not quite what I thought it was, but maybe still good? I don't know. How much better than a medicinal herb is that? It's gotta be somewhat better, right? Otherwise they wouldn't have made a special thing about it. What is this? Quick capsule. Okay, okay, okay. I, I have an idea about this one and unfortunately I'm gonna get rid of the life up cream. See you later. Let me check this. Uh, so the quick capsule I'm guessing increases our, our speed, or our quickness. Much like the uh, the fight one. Increase our fight. Take this capsule to raise your speed. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius. Use it. And I... While I'm in this menu, I don't think I actually ever checked out the Psy Stone. To see what exactly that does. Psy Power. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. It didn't really tell me anything. It, it seems important. It seems like some sort of a... I don't know if quest item is the right word. But it, it seems like an item of, of some significance. So we'll hold on to it for a, for a little bit a little bit longer. It'll probably eventually end up in the hands of our sister, much like the sword did. So I don't know. I don't even know when we're gonna need the sword. <laughs> maybe I can give Dewey, Lloyd. Maybe I can give them the sword. Like they're they're supposed to be smart, right? Like they're gonna be a, a computer scientist, a programmer when they grow up. Maybe they also researched swordsmanship. Maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. We already went that way. And we gotta go down one, right? And then we have to go down again. And then we will have seen mostly everything, I think. It's, it's getting real hard to like, keep my sense of direction, <laughs> especially with all these random encounters. I'm losing my mind, so to speak. Uh, so this way. Yep, and there's the down. Let's check this door first. Of course there's a present. There's always presents in this amazing factory. A butter knife. What is that? Eat it. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Tastes like iron. Uh, let me look at it. Uh, Henry can master it. Who is Henry? That's another potential party member because I named them. And this rat is a, it was scuttling down the ladder behind me. I'm sorry, I, I've got to go quick, dude. The rat suffered a, a nice amount of damage. 
You, you see that there? Beautiful. Uh, oh, there's a door. Might as well check it off our list. It's always just presents. Really, this is great. I thought there was going to be some sort of like a, a demon or something, some sort of boss here, but really it's just a grab bag of gifts. And so far, only the one random trash can had the, the rocket, which I believe is what we need to get Dewey slash Lloyd on the team. So I'm glad that we went. I'm glad that we, we cast like a wide net, right? I'm glad that we came in here with the idea of, of checking everything, of, of scouring the grounds. Because I'm not sure I would have come across that trash can if not. And I certainly don't think I would have checked it. Nothing at all. Okay, next. What's... Oh, there's one right next to it. And then there's another one. There's lots of presents. My God, it's like Christmas in here. Physical cap. What is that? Is that a hat? Oh, man. I have to drop something. Let's look what's in the other one first. Let's just check it out. This one has Life Up Cream, which we know we don't really care about. So physical cap. What are my stats again? Hmm. I don't see any physical. Less strength, maybe? I don't know. Butter knife. Uh, when am I going to get that that dude so I don't I don't actually know when I'll when I'll get the the person that can use that but man can't get rid of the cash card can't get rid of the wooden bat frame bat. I guess I could get rid of the wooden bat it was like $500 and I'm about to get a party member that can use it I wish I could just like drop something on the ground and then pick it right back up <sighs> okay we're gonna drop the butter knife because I can't imagine they're going to give us two party members in a short amount of time. We're about to get Dewey slash Lloyd. They're not going to give us Henry slash whatever immediately after. So we'll, we'll use this physical cap. And yeah, my strength increased by five. Okay, well, so that was good. That was, that was, that was worth it, I would say. And by the time we do get that party member... I mean, maybe we can go back to the kitchen and grab another butter knife. Like, that doesn't strike me as, as a hard-to-get item. And at the worst, we can just go buy him a bat. I think uh, when we went back home and saved with Dad, we already had another couple thousand from all our battles. So, not particularly worried about that. Really, right now, I'm just, just concerned with getting strong and getting dewy. I'm getting assaulted by rodents, too. Okay, is there anything else? I mean, there, yeah, there is. That's right. There's a couple more. A couple more doors. A couple more presents. Really, really just a great place. Magic herb. Not so needy. Not so, not so necessary. Which is nice, right? Like, it. I wonder if the game expects us to be struggling at this point. Or ha have we over-leveled? Is 18, like, a high level for this part of the game? Because initially, I felt really, really weak. For the areas I was in. Now I just feel like, not OP, but I don't know, like, I don't really feel challenged. And maybe I'm speaking too soon. Maybe I shouldn't test the game like that. Maybe I shouldn't challenge it. Maybe I shouldn't jinx myself. But yeah, every, most enemies are one hit kills and everything else is two. So I guess there are worse problems to, to have. Oh, hey, bear. That bear looks like he just, he's been hibernating. <laughs> he just woke up, and, but he's dodging swiftly. Not attacking very strongly. What do we do against him? We did 53. Oh, maybe this bear's a little stronger. He done did, did a good there, bear there. Yeah, he's not, no, he's not. Okay, two hits. <laughs> Still. Still, that's, that's in the upper echelon of, of enemies we're facing here. Every time these little saucers show up, too, I expect it to be a shoe. Is that, is that just me? It looks like a like a Nike or something. Just the way like it fades in from the bottom to top. I don't know. All right, so... Yeah, more enemies. My goodness, these wolves. They smell the fear. But it's it's not me. It's not my fear. They smell. It's just their their comrades that I've been 
I've been quieting. The wolves that I've been silencing. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds any better. I'm a wolf silencer. Okay, well, let's get, get to the top floor and give Dewey Lloyd the delinquent the fireworks that he craves so that he might light the school on fire and never have to come back here again. It's his revenge on the bullies. Yes, I have them. Wow, this bottle rock is sure to cause a bang. <laughs> He's going to kill us all. We may be able to make some more on our own. Come with me to the lab. <laughs> Okie dokie. You got it, man. Let's, uh, let's, let's commit arson. Later, we should go to Duncan's factory. Is that the next on your hit list? I've heard they're constructing an incredible rocket. We can, we, we can detonate that one as well. Is that what you're saying? You're, you're scaring me. They call me names. Weakly, the four eyes are worse. I'm sure that you've heard them. I have. I've heard the weakling one. I'm sorry. You don't. You don't deserve that. It's not right. Really, they should just be calling you arsonist, <laughs> pyromaniac. Your bottle rocket, my great, isn't it? What? Oh God, that's gonna. What just happened there? Ha! Seizure warning. Oh, and now we can move. Uh, can we talk to you, dude? What What's happening here? What is going on? No problem. No problem? You, there's problems all over the wall. You kidding me? We're just doing a dance here. I, he doesn't want to look at me. He's got social anxiety. No problem. Yeah, clearly. Mm -hmm. What about this busted table? It's cracked in half. No, pro no problem? Huh? Yeah, okay. Well, everything's completely normal here. But we have a party member. Can I give him? I can. Ninten handed the wooden back to Dewey. Dear Lloyd, you're gonna need this. Uh, we kept the bottle rocket. I'm gonna give that to him just so I have some open spots. That's fine. Have him use it. Dewey can't, oh, what? You dude, there's a room in here with other stuff. Can you use that, like a slingshot maybe? It's one of these, wasn't it? Or was it the one downstairs? I don't, I'm lost. These are all school rooms. Empty school rooms. Oh, 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 I, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Which one are you? Slingshot, all right. Dewey, can you use a slingshot, man? You're only level one, too. You need all the help you can get. Look at that. I got like four times your heart points almost. Uh, no, no, I don't need to check. I'm sorry. Slingshot. Uh, use. Dewey equipped it. Cool. All right, so Dewey, Dewey got the something. Uh, we'll probably have to go back to Magicant at some point to maybe buy another, like, ring or something. Get him some defense stuff. I mean, this is assuming that he can use it, right? I don't I don't know that. He can't use bats for whatever reason. But where are we going, Dewey? You won't talk to me. <laughs> you said something about, like, the Duncan whatever, and they're the ones building the strip club, right? Yeah, Duncan's debutantery. Financing by Architectural by Construction by the Duncan Company Incorporated. Ah, very lovely. Now, where are they located? The school is south. That's all you need to know. Cool. Well, I want to know where the factory is at, man. Is it this way? Maybe. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. We're getting attacked, and I feel like we're still in city limits. Oh, my God. A fugitive draws near, and he's got his buddy, Rope. Okay. Uh, Dewey, hope you're ready for this. I'm going to attack the fugitive with Nintendo because I think the fugitive is weaker. Dewey, you attack the inanimate object. Dewey is dead. Okay. Yep. See you later, Dewey. It was nice to have known you. <laughs> well, that was short-lived. I hope he still gets experience points. I'm not convinced he will. Usually, RPGs I've played, uh, a fainted or dead party member does not, does not 
does not benefit. Maybe we'll have to spend some time over in Podunk and the surrounding area training up Dewey. Just eliminating those weak enemies. I think that's actually going to be the case. <laughs> what? The rope dodged swiftly. What kind of rope has that fleet of feet? This rope has been working out with Michael Jordan. The rope doesn't move anymore. It's, it's much like, like a rope should. <laughs> yeah, Dewey got nothing. Dewey's an angel. <laughs> Did you see that? Floating behind me. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's kill everything in our path, and then let's get back home so that we can save, and we can train Dewey, and everything. It's going to be great. Look at him. Poor guy. I thought it said he fainted. He's a ghost. He's a spirit. Oh man! All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take care of all that stuff next time now. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then. Oh hey, and one more thing: if you liked the video, please let me know in the comments below, and consider liking the video itself as well. I truly appreciate any little bit of support, and it's little gestures like this that help make continued LPs possible. For other ways to support the channel, please consider sharing it or subscribing and following the social media links in the video description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.